So in this video, we will see one of the important variation of two dimensional random variable and this question is very important. So if you want to master this topic, please do watch this video till the end. Okay, let's start with this equation small f of x comma y always this small f means it is pdf what if it was capital f then it was cdf then you have to convert the cdf into pdf to solve this kind of question okay so that part is clear and the equation is this as you can see c times x square plus 2y and x is ranging from 0 to 2 and y is ranging from 1 to 4 uh, otherwise this function is 0 okay no problem find value of c and then once you get the value of C, you can proceed further. Question 2, question 3 and question 4. We will do everything step by step. So the first task is to find the value of C. How you can find the value of C is the next question. So pause this video and think. So if you thought about making the table and using the probability definition, then your approach is right. So let us make the table. So the table goes like this where this side represents the x and this side represents the y. Okay, so y is ranging from 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let me extend it further. And then you have 0, 1, 2. Now if you put this values x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 in this equation, you will get c times of 0 square plus 2 times of 1. And the answer is 2. Similarly, you can get it for another terms as well like let me take this was 2c correct let me take 0 and 2 so if i take 0 and 2 my equation is c times 0 square plus 4 so the answer is 4c so fill this table you will get 6c 8c and the next row you will get 3c 5c then you have 7c and 9c and the last row is 6c 8c then you have 10c and 12c now the probability definition is probability is equal to 1 now what is this summation pi means this means all the terms like 1 to n whatever you term uh, term is there in the system or in the quotient you have to all of uh, add all of that and this probability is equal to 1 so basically if you move in this x direction so this term if you add all of this you will get what you will get 6 plus 3 plus 2 that is equal to 11 c plus if you do add all of these terms you will get what you will get 8 plus 5 plus 4 that is equal to you get 17 c and if you move further you will get 23 c and then you will get it is basically 20 uh, 29 c and if you add all of this uh, you will get 1 so basically if you do this 11 c plus 17 c plus 23 c plus 29 c then you will get c is equal to you will get 1 by 80 so one more way to solve this question is you are adding these terms in the y direction in this vertical direction you can do it in horizontal direction as well add all of this term so add this you will get 20 c add all of this term you will get what you will get uh, 3 plus 5 plus 7 that is equal to 15 and 15 plus 9 that is equal to 24 c and if you add this you will get what you will get again 8 plus 10 18 18 plus 12 it is 30 and 36 c so add this 20 c plus 24 c plus 36 c and you will get and that is equal to 1 correct so if you do that you will get the value of c c is equal to 1 by 80 so this is the another way to solve this kind of question now first part is clear you have found the value of c and now you can say that our function is modified as 1 by 80 and this is our pdf now now the next task is to find this now the second question is you have to find the probability so second point is clear you have to find the probability when your x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 so you have to take the help of the table and as you can see x is equal to is this point y is equal to 3 is this point and you have to trace this line so basically it is 10 c so probability where x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3 is equal to 10 c because you know the value of c you can say that it is 1 by 80 so the answer is 1 by 8 so this is the very simple question and similarly you can do it for third point that is when my p uh, okay so p of capital x is less than 1 so it can be 0 and 1 and y is greater than 2 so it can be 3 and 4 so you have to add all of that and final probability you have to say so let us simplify this question as well the third point as we 
talked earlier that it is actually x is equal to 0 and 1 and y is equal to it is 3 and 4. So the combinations can be pretty simple x is equal to 0 and y can be 3 plus your x can be 0 and y can be 4 plus your x can be 1 and y can be 3 then you can say your probability of x can be 1 and y can be 4. So you have to basically trace the four terms so x0 y3 is this term and x0 y is equal to 4 is this term similarly x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 is this and the rest is this. So basically you have to add 6 plus 7 plus uh, 8 plus 9 and then you have to multiply it with c so 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 multiplied with c and c is 1 by 8 1 by 80 and the final answer you will get is 3 by 8 and always remember your probability answer is always less than equal to 1 it cannot exceed more than that like 8 by 3 it cannot be that or 5 by 2 it cannot be that probability is always less than equal to 1 so that is the tip to verify your answers okay now let's see the last part that is the marginal pdf of x comma y now the last part of this question is you have to find the marginal pdf of x comma y marginal pdf and this, this notations are important marginal pdf or it can be only pdf or it can be pmf correct but now this is uh, one dimensional random variable that is once they are asking for x and then they are asking for y so if you are finding it for x so let's say the pmf or the pdf of x so you have to eliminate y because this is the joint random variable so you have to eliminate y then only you can find this pdf or pmf of x so the table has this probability and next it has the x because this small x or let's say this term small x small x can range from 0 1 2 and if it ranges that way the answer is as you can see here this line the answer is 20 c so 20 c c is 1 by 80 so you got the answer answer is 1 by 4 and for x is equal to 1 this is the row 24 c so 24 c again 24 into 1 by 80 so you will get the answer so 24 by 80 let's say you can simplify the terms and lastly you can say 36 by 80 similarly you can do it for y so now if you are doing it for y so you have to find pmf or pdf of y you have to eliminate the x so basically you are finding the probabilities of y when y can be ranging from anything because it's basically 1 2 3 4 so when y is equal to 1 the respective probability is this vertical line 11c correct y is equal to 1 this line we are uh, whenever you do this kind of thing eliminate x basically means x can be anything but when y is equal to 1 this vertical strip is only the answer so 11c and c is 1 by 80 so answer is this similarly for 2 y is equal to 2 answer is 17c so 17 by 80 then 23 by 80 and lastly you can say 29 by 80 so this is the answer of the fourth part so i hope you got the variations how you can find the value of c and this probability at fixed point and also the uh, probability at variable point that was the part 3 and about the marginal pdf like you are separating from the joint variable you are separating uh, to the individual variable and that's it so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrenik jain peace out